Hello, and welcome to another episode of Crypto Charts. I am Fausto Botelho, and here we use our experience in technical analysis with which we try to extract logical indications about the future behavior of prices. Crypto prices. Nowadays, I'm talking about the stock markets as well because we're foreseeing a crash coming on. So first thing, we're going to take a look at uh, <clears throat> we're going to take a look at the S&P. So here we go. Here's the chart with the S&P. And it's been wild these legs, this last week. Am I showing the chart? Yeah. So uh, lots of reasons to believe we are beginning a bear market because uh, we broke this support trend line because uh, and because before the subprime we had an upward movement of 76 percent and now we had an upward movement of 276 percent because in the subprime the u.s owed nine trillion dollars nowadays it owes almost 22 trillion dollars because we know this was artificially created by the quantitative easing uh, policy of the Fed during all this time and because we know the Fed has much more um, margin for maneuvering nowadays than it had before we think this bear market might uh, deliver us a crash. A crash if you don't know is simply a situation in which the market falls a lot very quickly like for instance in 2008 in which the market from September 26 only until uh, ten, 10 days later uh, fell 32 32% fell 32% in 10 days look at that from December from uh, September 26 2008 until October 10 2008 the market felt that much so that's what the media use, usually calls as a crash. Now, um, out of that, we had a, uh, besides that, I mean, we had a double top that was uh, proven correctly, confirmed, because the market made, gave us a rectangle before breaking the support of the double top, reached the objective, objective of the double top, corrected and was last week drifting up now it gave us widely one gap two gaps three gaps four gaps with today but what can what i can tell you is that i am seeing a market drifting after a rally and that's bearish so today one could say that the market broke the resistance that it was it was trying because it closed above yesterday uh, above the the high which was on uh, may, i think it was last time i made a video uh, january 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 no it was before that uh, so the market broke this uh, resistance here but did it? Let's take a look in the one hour chart to see what happened at that time. At that, uh, well, actually I wanted to see the, yeah, let's, let's see first the hourly chart in which, look what it did when it had just broken this uh, resistance uh, level. It broke the resistance level of, yeah, I think I got a Fibonacci here, but I can use it. It broke the resistance level of the 18th and then it gave us a, a shooting star which is uh, not a a candle for you to present for the bulls to present after they have broken a considerable important support if we go to the 15 minute chart it gave us a uh, uh, not an engulfing it gave us a, a a dark cloud which is also a bearish candle so uh, this is not something the market would give us after having 
uh, broken a resistance, a important resistance level. Uh, because you know, when when the market breaks a resistance level, it should it should touch uh, stop orders, and then it should go. If it doesn't, if it produces one of these reversal candlesticks, it's because something is wrong. And I think what's wrong is that you know the market is heading down. It's starting a bear market. And in bear markets, it's very, 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 very much difficult for the market to go up, at least for long. Uh, actually, the market is commemorating the Apple results of yesterday, which weren't that good, but it weren't too bad. So this is it. I think uh, we have to wait, but uh, I think uh, we'll see what happens. But my, my idea is that uh, we're coming down. It's harder for you to say the market is coming down whenever it has gone up uh, so much like uh, this, right? So I'm showing you the future market now just to show you that uh, it also it is also drifting. That's the uh, March contract uh, in the C, uh, CME. It is doing that in this resistance line. And if we go to the 15 minute chart, we will also see a, a well, this market is it's, it's on because uh, unlike the uh, normal markets, the mini S&P, uh, it's round the clock, except for 15 minutes that it stays closed after the close of the market, which happens at uh, 7.30 Brazilian time. Uh, and uh, which will be probably 6, 6.30 New York time. I don't know exactly, but it doesn't matter. So now uh, what I'm going to do with you guys is that I'm going to be practicing my technical analysis with you. Uh, we're going to practice that technical analysis in the first more important crypto assets. And then I'm going to move into the next 20 more important cryptos. And I'm just going to show you my, my ideas about this uh, next block of 20 cryptos. So starting with the most important ones, though, we're just, well, first we're going to take a look. Oh, yeah. And now I, I have the pleasure to inform. So let's go to crypto one here that our closings of the daily chart, I'm going to put everything in the daily chart, where I'm using the, the platform of my company, which I'm going to call the Focus platform. Because the name of our company, unfortunately, it's hard to pronounce in English, you know. But you know what? How would I imagine in 1983, when we formed our company, that I should have thought about a name that would fit in the English language. Because at that time, we were doing something to Brazil, only to Brazil, to the stock exchange and to the commodity markets of Brazil. We wouldn't ever expect that we would be in a situation in which we're, we're showing assets that are traded all over the world, like the crypto assets, right? But on the other hand, how would... Any of us imagine 10, 10 years uh, ago or uh, 11 years ago before the existence of this thing here that we would carry something like that in our pockets and we would become James Bonds. Each one of us would be, oops, shut up there. I'm, I'm doing a video here. So uh, back to the charts. Let's start uh, with, first I'm going to put, so it's, it's focus because the name of our company, it's E N F O Q U E, but it's a little tricky to be pronounced to pronounce that. Sounds a little pornographic whenever I pronounce that in English, you know, quickly, especially if if I do it quickly. And that means focus. So that's the focus platform. If you want to test it, give it a test, give it a try. Uh, so here we are. I'm going to organize all that in. Oh no 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 no! I'm going to organize the windows in alphabetic order vertically so and here we go by name so this is b b uh bitcoin cash hey yeah there's a difference here for the charts you used to because we 
in our company made the junction between Bitcoin Cash before the fork and Bitcoin Cash ABC after the fork, right? So, uh, and that gives us a much better uh, view, as you may, uh, as you might agree. So, what I'm what am I seeing here? I'm seeing a probable reversal because the market rally is not a very important rally uh, pullback or or um, uh, move down, but it was important enough to break the support level. And this support level, it's kind of important because you see, you see whenever you, you, you're dealing with a support level, in my courses, I, I always remind my students to look left. Look left. And for that, you have to use all the data that you have. What kind of data are you going to use? All the data available. Yes, all the data available. That's why I'm very proud that, and I'm very happy that we did that with the, with both Bitcoin charts. So looking back, you see that this is a very important support level, which the market broke. And now we're seeing a probable reversal. There is another two, one hour and 50 minutes for the market to close. To close, hey, but does the market, the crypto market closes? Well, not exactly, but you know, we that produces charts have to have a time in order to close the daily candle, the daily bar. So uh, internationally, it is uh, used to, to uh, every, everybody uses UTC time, midnight, UTC time, right? So it's hard for you, it's hard for you to see a gap. It's uh, completely unusual for, for you to see a gap. We've seen a gap here, probably because of a bad tick or something, because uh, the market, if, it, if the market closes at uh, midnight and opens uh, at uh, one second uh, after midnight, you shouldn't have a gap, right? So um, let me take a look, I'm curious on that. Let's see our competitor and see if they show a gap. At the, oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, no, no, I'm, I'm gonna lose some time. And I know what happened, Binance was out of air for some time, so they actually, they don't have, because I'm showing you Bitcoin ABC, uh, coded in Bitcoin in Binance. Actually, uh, yes, I forgot to say, we're only gonna be seeing uh, charts quoted in Bitcoin. And why is that? Well, I'm already thinking on the Bitcoin standard because I think Bitcoin is going to be the most valuable uh, coin in the world. I think eventually something bad is going to happen to the dollar, to you know the, the coin of the guy that owes almost 22 trillions and uh, kind of hard to pay that back. So that coin of, their, of them uh, may eventually lose its value, some of its value. Uh, I think that's what's going to happen. In, in, in the medium to long term, because in the crash, well, first uh, in Brazil, and for all of you guys that are looking at this video from, from uh, developing countries, uh, the, the law most probably will rise whenever the crash comes. Uh, it's coming, in my view, as I said many times here in the channel already. Uh, and that's because, you know, people uh, adopt the flight for quality procedure, which is they just uh, get out of uh, more, more risky, sometimes more liquid uh, markets like Brazil. Brazil is very liquid. Many blue ships here are very, very liquid. And so they, they get out of these uh, countries and return to the safety. Now we should quote very much. Uh, of the U.S. Treasury bonds and, 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 and titles, right? Uh, except this time I've talked already here in the channel that this uh, fleet is going to fly away from risk assets. We'll eventually have a small airport, field airport, which is the crypto field airport. And eventually some of these uh, ships will land in this field. The only problem is that this field is very, very tiny and small. 
Nowadays it represents 115, if I'm not mistaken. I've seen a couple of minutes ago at the again coin market cap. It, it's it's 115 billion dollars. Wow, the stock market capitalization of the world is 100 trillion. Stock market capitalization of Nasdaq is around 26 trillion. Uh, sorry, uh, of the New York Stock Exchange is around only the New York Stock Exchange is around 26 trillion. One percent of that is 260 billion dollars. One percent of the capitalization, market cap, uh, capitalization of uh, of uh, New York Stock Exchange. The world, so I said, 100 trillion. So if a small, tiny bit of that money decides to land in the crypto field airport cryptos could could watch a uh, bombastic uh, rise in prices uh, but you know there's no by the book for that because that's the first time that we will eventually have a crash with the existence of a new class of assets called the crypto assets so it's going to be very interesting to observe what's going to happen uh, my view is that in the first place bitcoin might suffer but there's one attenuation for bitcoin it has already crashed it crashed 50 percent in a month in december 50 percent in a month that's a real crash isn't it so eventually it's down there expecting some crafts to land in its airport and by crafts i mean you know the people from mainstream which is the institutional money let's see what's happening it's going to be fun to to watch that so back to the chart uh so far i've shown you just the first one right so uh we have another hour and a half as i told you to for the market to close but this is looking like a reversal and a reversal couldn't happen after a support is broke i showed you this a very important support so i'm keeping an eye on bitcoin cash uh to keep an eye i mean i am eventually changing that daily chart for the hourly chart come on come on come on come on man yeah for the hourly chart and the hourly chart shows me wow a upward flag so whenever this upward flag is broken maybe it's a very good time for you to purchase some bitcoin cash next one is bitcoin cash sv bitcoin cash sv oh yeah oh no i'm the hourly, i'm in the hourly chart even though we changed our uh, our database for uh daily charts closing utc time as uh, something happened to this and my colleague is in holiday so she couldn't correct that and i'm showing you the 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 chart of bitcoin cash sv that most of the systems show which is uh, from the fork of november 15 on right and it's uh it's not showing any reversal even though it broke a support line uh support uh, level as well and if we go to the early chart uh no it's not making an upward flag so uh, no 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 let's change change subjects we're in a ball dancing and eventually we'll change our pair we will look at somebody else with which to dance now uh, back to let me put everybody in daily chart so Binance was doing very well. It broke a resistance line, but then it gave us this awful reversal. I was actually long here and I um, I said, yes, I must sell Binance coin. And then it took me uh, an hour to liquidate all my subjects. And in that hour, oh my goodness, look at look what happened in that hour. Oh, I was mad with that. But anyway, I, I, I got out and unfortunately i uh, had a stop placed in the in the in the broker which is binance binance sorry uh if you want to trade uh, cryptos use binance binance is uh the biggest company and you know what something very important i was watching a video a recent video of cz if you don't know him it's uh champagne's out the guy that 
he used to work in Bloomberg. He was the guy, the trade, the, the the market guy from Bloomberg. And then he, you know, got all his friends there and and produced a coin and a software, a software, and produced also a company called Binance, a company which address is by the cloud, no number. Nowadays, it's changed. He's um, uh, moving to uh, Malta. Uh, but anyway. Uh, CZ said something which I've been thinking a lot, uh, especially when I was uh, talking, uh, starting to enter the, the, the crypto world and, and buying Bitcoin against fiat here in Brazil. And I would, at that time, I was looking for the biggest company. I went there, I met all the directors uh, because uh, I had to pick their, their, their quotes. Uh, and since then, I have the clear idea that you should go to the big guys. You know, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't trade in a small company because of one reason: if you're a trader, you're gonna be leaving most of the time. You're gonna be leaving your bitcoins or your coins in the uh, exchange, and so you're running the exchange risk. Oh, I'm sorry for that. You're running the exchange uh, risk. And uh, exchanges are hackable. What I've seen, what I've watched, uh, to make a long story short, what, what I've uh, heard CZ, the CEO of, Bit, uh, of Binance, saying in that video, was that they invest a huge amount of money on security. So that's very important. And that's the reason why I think you should eventually, if you're thinking about trading uh, in, in, the, in the cryptos, go to Binance. And if you're going to Binance, use the link below here. So that's a way for you to help the channel. It won't change anything for you, but if you use our, our code, to open an account there, we're going to get a small portion of your of the commissions that you're going to be paying there, right? So uh, back to the chart. Back to the chart. This is Bitcoin now, and this is Bitcoin weekly chart since the beginning. <clears throat> Can the weekly chart since the beginning? So that's one possibility. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, moving average, but I, I'll, I'll leave it there for for a while. Um, that's a. Uh, let me take a look here. That's a two hundred bars moving average. Two hundred weeks moving average. The market went below this moving average, meaning that it is eventually uh, starting a long term bear market. But the point is, I don't use indicators. I think I can see everything that I, that a indicator could show me. I can see that in the prices. So out of there. Don't pollute my chart. And also, I'm going to take this out too. So yes, there is a possibility that we've seen so far a one, two, three, four, five. Even though I thought we so far had seen wave one, out of wave five, right? Because this is wave one, wave three, and out of wave five so far, I thought we have seen uh, wave one, two, three, and I thought we were in wave four of wave five. And then we would go to wave five and we would reach $100,000. I believed in that, but then the market broke this uh, support trend line. But is this the support trend line that we should be looking at? I don't know. Why is that? Well, well, first, because if we're thinking of that, we would have to draw Fibonacci levels, Fibonacci levels here, and the first one would be below, a little below. Oh God, I'm very sorry about that. I don't know what's happening. I'm going, I'm going to enter. Uh, oh God, uh, I'm going to enter a, a the. I'm going to enter the. The a, yeah, actually, it's my car being uh, returned. Uh, uh, so I'm going to ask for a second. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, there's nobody. I'm home. There's nobody here. And uh, 
the guy's calling me in the door here, so I, I just have to tell him to just leave the car there. Yeah. I'm very sorry for that, folks. Uh, so, uh, that would be below $200, right? Uh, am I showing the right? Uh, yeah, that would be below $200, which I think it's a little too low, um, as you may think as well. So, if we don't want to see that, we may eventually think that uh, this first wave was the... is what took Bitcoin out of 0 0.06 nine or something I, I just seen that it was september 2017 and 18 2010 which were the lows of the bitcoin that just started to trade uh, less than uh, than than a dime the the, the price of bitcoin so maybe uh, this was to take the bitcoin out of nothing into something and that something is two dollars Right, so maybe the the the, the things uh, maybe the trend for Bitcoin starts here, and if it starts there, then we should move this uh, support trend line, uh, or or maybe here, or maybe here, no here. Yeah, where where was that? Yeah, here. Yeah, here. So we catch this uh, low level here. And uh, no, come on. What am I doing here? Yeah, over here. And if we do that, we're gonna we're gonna be seeing a sort of a channel here as well. And <clears throat> and so eventually the market the market could be bot bottoming up. And actually, I started to believe that uh, yesterday because uh, until then I thought we were seeing a a descending triangle here and or a symmetrical triangle and I thought the market could come down but let's take a look in the daily chart to see what's actually happening and what's happily actually happening here's the crash of Bitcoin 50% drop right in a month and uh, so the market was making this uh, downward flag and then it broke the support of this downward flag day before yesterday it broke but it returned and it marked the support and it uh, marked the support as being in the close of day before yesterday uh, then yesterday what did we have yesterday let me show you here in the hourly chart right uh, what we had yesterday was that the market broke the support that has been found and broke the low of the 28th of uh, January. And then it reverted. And then it reverted. So it actually, if we go back to the daily chart, we're going to see that it produced a subtle uh, bear trap with this reversal that we're probably going to be seeing uh, until another hour and a half. That is uh, that we're waiting for the close and especially so let's go to the hourly chart to see uh, well now the market has just drift and uh, came back a little bit but maybe that becomes a a rectangle and maybe the market goes up and if it if it closes near the the, the highs we would certainly be looking at a reversal after the market has broken uh, a has breaking this uh, support level so and and if that happens, uh, we we would probably see the market testing this resistance line here. And if the market is seeing this resistance line, then this accumulation of the last two months will start to look like a reversal accumulation again in the objective of the descending triangle. So we're keeping an eye on that. I had recommended my my customers to. To move uh, to buy a TUSD, which is a stable coin that equals the dollar, and that equals uh, sell Bitcoin for dollars, right? And uh, we've just been stopped out of this position, and we we didn't sign uh, we didn't recommend buying Bitcoin again. But you know, it's uh, 
uh, if you're not in dollars, then you're in Bitcoin, right? And we're gonna see here in the in the next uh, moments uh, the the cryptos that we think might have a chance to uh, to outperform Bitcoin. So uh, I'm taking a look at Ada Cardano. Ada, I don't know what's the right pronunciation of that. Because, you know, uh, we, we've broken this resistance line, which is a very a considerable, uh, trustful resistance uh, trend line. One, two, three, four, five technical events in this line. And then the market went up uh, while Bitcoin was coming down, which is a good sign. And, and then the market is, is, is sideways and it just broke a support line and it also might give us a reversal after having broken a support line. Uh, so this is one of the candidates for to, to, to outperform Bitcoin. I would think seriously on, yeah, actually I'm gonna be watching that and to watch that I, I go to the hourly chart and in the hourly chart you can see the market breaking the support and coming back. So if it closes in the in the in the highs, I think um, there is a good possibility for us to enter other. Dash digital cash um, is below its resistance trend line. So let's wait for this trend line to be broken, for the market to produce a upward flag or something and then we enter it eos oh ho eos eos has a trend line which is being tested or maybe the trend line is not here trend lines are elastic all objects um, so maybe this trend line has already been broken and the market is starting to reverse but the point is eos produced us a bear trap in here which is a very bullish indication and then it went up to uh, nearby its resistance trend line uh, whether it's here or here doesn't matter too much and then it's accumulating and this accumulation has all the looks of a continuation pattern I would uh, I would risk that we will eventually call this as a, a, a as a wedge or a a coil or a is it coil um, a, or a symmetrical triangle which is uh, probably going to end up with the market test in its next resistance which is up here okay um, okay, next one is Ethereum. Ethereum. Hmm. What is Ethereum doing? Not too much in technical terms. It's uh, it's testing. It tested its uh, resistance line, and it came down. Bears went mad when the market came here. It just broke a support, considerable support. Uh, and it is also producing a sort of a reversal. So if the market comes back above 0 0.032, uh, which is uh, the real body of these uh, candles here, I think we might, we might think of the possibility that it will outperform Bitcoin. Yoda, Yoda is testing support uh, is in a side has always been in a sideways the sideways movement and now it's in a another sideways movement and it's testing well I don't know why my colleague gave so much importance to this uh, support level it's not that important yeah not here, maybe Yeah, has some some importance, and uh, so if if that turns into a, a reversal, we're going to be looking at the possibility for a bear trap to have been formed. So, keeping an eye on Yoda too. In the early chart, uh, nothing special. Uh, Litecoin, 
has nothing. Nothing, no comments. It's right in the middle of this uh, accumulation pattern here. Uh, we could draw this line, but uh, nothing, no comments. Monero, Monero is uh, a sideways accumulation uh, that has lasted for almost two years, uh, sorry, two months. And uh, this looks like a, a continuation pattern. So not very optimistic on Monero's possibilities. On the other, on the opposite, much the opposite. I think uh, the support of 0 0.012 uh, might be broken, and the market go to the to the all times low. Is it the all times low? Yeah. No, no, not exactly. To this very important support, which is in 0 0.011. Nam coming down testing support what else can we say nothing special neo neo has broken this uh, resistance line and is accumulating but uh, not in a very uh, familiar way maybe if we would think that was a symmetrical triangle it has broken the support line this triangle so let's change the pair Let's dance with somebody else, right? Ripple! Yeah, we recommended Ripple today because why did we do that? Because that makes Ripple resemble uh, calls cryptos. No, uh, let me show you here how do we recommend uh, a position to our subscribers in our uh, platform. Our customers that sign this product receive this uh, this uh, pop up, and in the pop up you can take a look in the chart, or then and the chart is right here. It it just reproduces the chart that we use to produce this call, and eventually you can use our our risk control method. To calculate the size of your position in order that if you were stopped, you're gonna lose always the same small little amount of your money. So why did why did we make a call in Ripple? Because having reverted right here, it is uh, making this accumulation of the last one, two, three, four months resemble like a upward uh, triangle symmetrical triangle so the object is up here even though the stop was uh, some 10 percent away we're very con uh, confident that the market might get out of this uh, triangle and if it does it will most probably rally up to the objective which is at uh, 16,000 satoshis or 0 0.00016. It, Ethereum? Why am I coming back to Ethereum? No, 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 sorry. That's the charts that we're keeping an eye on. Uh, so the next one now is Stellar. Stellar or Stellar or whatever, it's going down it's probably coming to its uh all time um, not to this, to this important support level here uh which is in between uh, uh 2000 and 2500 satoshis nothing else to comment tron tron has given joy to people that bought it in december it went up while bitcoin was coming down and it's uh, testing a, i think it's a very important resistance level now so we're keeping an eye on tron uh i've been in tron already but then I was uh, stopped out when the market did that because I thought it had just, it had just uh, broken this resistance line here and I thought that was very ugly. So the stop was uh, kind of tightened up. So we lost the position, that's, that's what happened. Then we missed this uh, little flag here and we didn't enter the market. So now we're keeping an eye and for do that, we, we go to the hourly chart and uh, take a look at what's happening here and no clues yet but uh, we might eventually draw a resistance line here and uh, if the market does that 
and especially if it produces a flag here, we might buy whenever it breaks this flag and place our stop below the flag. That's the uh, that's the that's the asset that we have recommended to our to our uh, customers, but we've tightened the stop in that in that asset, so we were liquidated right here. We recommended here. If you go to the daily chart, you're going to be seeing the why. Here's the why. It's, unfortunately, it's written in Portuguese, but uh, we're, we're, we're working hard for it to be written in English as well, and other languages as well. Uh, so whenever the market broke this uh, pennant or flag, we made the recommendation. And uh, then, coming back to the hourly chart, we tightened the stop. And I think we did well because this uh, is looking like a downward flag. The market is probably would probably have uh, got uh, our uh, next stop here. So, and now waves, all oh, whole oh, waves, waves went madly up while Bitcoin was coming down. And why would some uh, coin raised more than 365 percent when the pattern the the uh, when the standard which is bitcoin is coming down well it might have some reason right and then it 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 it, it kept its position uh, the the bulls went up and they kept their position here they maintained their position and afterwards the market flagged up tested this resistance uh, came down today but it it is recovering and it might even today break this uh, resistance so let's take a look in the hourly chart uh, see what's happening yeah well anyway this resembles a a, a continuation pattern it's resembling a continuation pattern. So keeping an eye if, if the market closes above this or if the market breaks this resistance lap, uh, we are probably recommending, and uh, I would recommend you to, uh, to add waves to your portfolio, to your uh, crypto portfolio. Link. Well, Link gave us yesterday a very special indication because look at this. That's the history of Link, right? Uh, launched in 2017, produced these three tops almost in the same level, flagged up while testing this uh, resistance level, broke the resistance level, then it came back and produced as a wonderful reversal pattern, a hammer, which is a powerful reversal pattern. And then yesterday we recommended to buy it. And coming back to the early chart, we then uh, placed the stop right here. It almost kissed our stop, but so far we've escaped of being stopped. The market now broke this resistance level, this resistance trend line, the short term resistance trend line. And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I'm the 15 minute now. Let's see what happens. If it comes down, it will stop us. Or else it will eventually go up again. So true USD and waves. What am I doing? Oh, no, 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 no. It's crypto one. Here we go. So waves. And now VChain. VChain is the last one. So VChain, no comments. No, no, Zcash. Zcash. Zcash just broke this important support line, which is the all times low. That's a bad tick, of course, right? And uh, waiting to be taken out. Uh, we take bad ticks out of our, 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 out of our database because there's no point for you to keep them. If you're an exchange, you have to keep it. If you're Binance, you have to keep it because you showed that. But we can uh, arbitrate the quotes somehow. And uh, even though we, if, if, if we have to call it 
uh, ZEC BTC and no BIN before. Uh, we just say that's an index of uh, our company. But we don't do that because nobody cares. So we just take out this uh, bad tick and then the market gets uh, the... Um, and then the, the chart looks much better like that, right? So uh, that's it. So the market just broke this uh, support, important support line, made a pullback and came back down. So it's probably coming down more. So that's it. My dear friends, I, I said I was going to uh, go into the next uh, 20 cryptos. But unfortunately, uh, I, I, we're out of time um, and I have to leave. So I'll leave you with this. Did you like the video? Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I should have said that in the beginning, but anyway. Thank you very much for seeing the video until now and I'll see you next time. Ciao.